Hello, today's devotional can be found in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 5. And this they did, not as we hoped, but first gave their own selves to the Lord and unto us by the will of God. Okay, so. The Lord has his will for each of us, and we have our agency. He invites us. <coughs> <coughs> to use our agency that we might be able to learn about the Lord's will for us. And decide to follow the Lord's will, even if it means setting aside our own desires. The Lord knows the righteous desires of our hearts, and he will grant us that which we ask for. And we should not be afraid to hope for a better tomorrow because we cannot be defined by our circumstances nor will our circumstances always be the same. We are invited to come unto the Lord and give ourselves freely unto Him that we might be able to become better Giving ourselves doesn't mean giving up our agency. Giving of ourselves means giving up of the broken pieces of ourselves because all of us have broken pieces that don't quite fit. And we shouldn't be afraid to let those pieces go because those pieces will only make us lost and confused. They do us no good. Satan wants us to hang on to our broken pieces. because he wants us to remain lost and confused because he'll be easier. will be easier for him to take under his wing, so to speak, and to sift and to confuse and to warp and to distort. But the will of God is that we grow if we want to grow. And by the will of God, we have the atonement that will allow us to let go of what is stopping us from growing. And we can give ourselves to the will of the Lord and allow him to guide us. And we'll still have trials, of course. That doesn't mean we won't have trials, but we can be guided through the trials, learn what we need to learn, and see the blessing at the end of that trial. Because all things have their purpose. All trials have a reason. Even those things which were caused by the choices of others have a reason. And we don't always do what we hope to do in life. But we can do what the Lord hopes of us. He, he will prompt us through his spirit that we might be able to get through each and every day and do things that will help us to learn and grow according to his will, if we so choose. The will of God is a funny thing. The Lord knows that each of us has our own destiny, but it depends on our agency. If we choose to accept our destiny, the Lord will help us to achieve it. If we don't choose, to listen to promptings or accept our destiny. The Lord will not force us to, but he will not give us blessings associated with those promptings either because blessings come after faith, after one acts in faith. And if we don't act in faith, why would the Lord give us blessings? Anyway, the will of God is beautiful. The Lord is beautiful and he wants to help us become beautiful if we so choose, but we have to choose it. We cannot hide away and expect the Lord to force us into being beautiful. It doesn't work like that. We have to want to become beautiful and the Lord will help us. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.